evening everyone, how are you today? And welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day. So anyway, for this week's video, I thought it was time I showed you part of our WA trip. So I've done some editing for you. I'm gonna pop that all in for you now and I do hope you enjoy that and you know, see how our time over there was. Um, the issues we had with the breaking down and so forth. So I do hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment down there, and also hit subscribe if you want to see more of my travel videos. Um, I have also updated our website recently, magicaladventures.com, and I will leave the link below along with all my other social medias and my Red Bubble account, so go and check all of that out. But other than that, I will leave it like that and enjoy it, and I will see you next week for another awesome video. So for now, bye! Hello everyone, so we are now at the airport, we just had an interesting taxi ride here, the taxi driver was strangely talking to his friends on the phone, um, but yeah we're at the airport, we're almost ready to board the plane, and yes, so I will see you when we land in Darwin. everyone how are you today so we landed in Darwin off the very early hours of today uh, we came to our hotel and we've slept we're now ready to go and pick up our van which we have for the next two weeks which will be our home and also our transportation to drive us all the way down to Perth once we have that we'll be on the way to start our adventure so yes I hope you enjoy this journey with us So we've now picked up our van for our road trip and we are off to the supermarket. We're currently um, on the roads in Darwin. It's really nice and quiet, which is excellent news, considering how I've driven a manual in a couple of years now. But it's all going well, it's a really nice van. It's got a lot of stuff, it's got bedding, and you know, it's really good. So today was day one of our trip from Darwin to Perth. So we woke up nice and early, we went to pick up the van and we've driven down through the Northern Territory. We're in now a little town called Catherine and um, we're staying here the night. We explored the national park nearby this afternoon and then we went for a swim in the pool which was quite nice and cool considering it's like 32, 33 degrees here so very very hot. Um, we are now getting ready for bed, it's about 8pm because we have to get up tomorrow at 4am roughly just because we need to get over the border and to Lake Argyle which is our next stop on the trip. So we will see you tomorrow for more of the adventure. Good morning everyone, so it's day 2, um, we're just leaving Catherine now, we're on our way to Lake Argyle. As you can see in the background, that's our wonderful van where we've been staying and we're there for the next two weeks. So yes, uh, we've got like a seven hour drive today, so quite a big one. But hopefully there's a time difference of an hour and a half, so we'll actually gain some time, which is good. And then we've got a sunset cruise this afternoon, so it should all be good. So we will see you when we arrive there. Good 
Good morning everyone, how are you today? So it is day three of our journey down to Perth so far. Um, yesterday was a really, really good day. Uh, we got to Lake Argyle at sort of lunchtime. We then checked in, uh, got our vans up ready for the day. Um, we then went on a sunset cruise, which was really awesome. We cruised around the river for about three hours. We had an early swim, so we just sort of swam in the river. There were lots of crocs and snakes and stuff in there, but we made sure that that was safe before we did get in. We then cruised around for a little bit longer, and as the sun was setting, we actually got in, and we were given complimentary beers and champagne, um, and floating crackers as well. And we just kind of watched the sun set in the distance, so it was really, really nice a really good way to end the day after our long seven hour drive. It was our biggest day of driving so far um, and it's going to be the biggest day of driving for the whole trip so it was a nice way to end it. Um, but yeah, so that was that. Um, I hope you're enjoying watching our trip with us so far. Hi everyone, so this is just an update for day four. Um, we drove to Derby nice and early this morning. We thought we'd see the city and then drive on to Broome, but no. Our engine basically broke down and we tried to fix it but it didn't work. We spent about an hour and a half in the boiling heat trying to get help. We managed to get help and we have got it all sorted out now. We are being picked up in a tow truck and they're going to tow us down to Broome tonight. We're then staying in a log cabin free of charge and then we're getting a nice 4x4 with a tent roof tomorrow. So that will be fun um, and good for the rest of the journey we hope. Um, but yeah, so not the most ideal day, but hey, it, we got there in the end, and yeah, we will see you tomorrow. Good morning everyone, so it's day 5 today, so as you know yesterday we broke down and it wasn't the best um, of days on our trip so far. Um, we did get put up in this kind of gypsy style hut overnight um, from the company that, you know, had the van from, so that was fairly nice of them to arrange that. And um, we are heading down there now to pick up our new vehicle. It's going to be a slightly different one, so it's going to be one um, it's a 4x4 um, with a roof tent, which will be quite cool. Um, so we'll have to put our tent making skills to the test, I suppose, but I'll show you that later on. But yeah, other than that, we are going to pick that up now. We're going to be going on the seaplane today and go through the horizontal waterfalls. The only one in the world that should be fun. But yes, other than that, we will see you later for an update, so bye!